Welcome to the fastest daf in town. Today we're going to start this Ksuvah's daf Mem Zion. We're going to begin on the bottom of Mem Vav Amid Beis. So the Gemara was talking about that there are certain things in which the father is able to be Zaycha from his daughter. And one of the things that is mentioned in the very last line is Zaycha B'Metziyasa. That if she finds a lost object, that she doesn't keep it, but rather goes to the father. So, how come? Why is this the case? So we continue Mem Zayim and Aleph, Misham Eva, because otherwise it's going to cause an amasti. Since Rashi di Kivan de Enochab Saha, because technically he doesn't have to give her food. Now Iyamr Mitziyasa Shila. If let's say she gets to keep her things, Ika Eva vul Zayin Lasu. He's going to say, what's the point? She obviously is able to now support herself. She found this expensive item, which is was Hefker. So the fact is, why should I have to give her Mizonos? And that would get her, get her out, him obviously upset. Therefore we say, let, because of Eva, we say that he keeps the mas, the uh, Mitziyasa. But Masya Deha, so how about her work? And we had this before. So we make this connection, this daughter, to a maidservant. So certainly whatever uh, work a maidservant does, it goes to the master. So same, to, same thing when it comes here. Maybe that's only when it comes to a katana. Because the father has certain rights, such as being able to sell her as an ama. When it comes to, if we're going to compare it to an ama, it's not shaykh to be able to sell her as a naira. In fact, she goes out with some So, it doesn't matter. Even if she's a naira, if you want to say that it does not go to the father, how is it possible that we say that the Torah is Zaycha for the father to be able to give his daughter over to Tochopa? If that's the case, and we know this is the case because the Pasuk says, Rashi quotes us, beating the Sati, that that everything goes to him. So, how can he give her over? In other words, the day of the wedding, she's not working. So what right does he have to be able to prevent her from working? It must be because he's the one who's entitled to the Masya Deha. So Maybe it actually does go to her. And he's not entitled. So then why is he allowed to be moist her to chupa, and she's going to lose a day of work. Okay, so he'll pay her for that day. Maybe he gave her over at night. We make sure the chupa is at night because she has to work all the way until five minutes before her chupa. Maybe he gave he uh, married her over on Shabbos or Yom Tov. Now, in this, Tysus wonders, well, what does that mean? Um, so a person is not allowed to even give his daughter over uh, is not allowed to get married because the issue, issue of and it's the Rosh Gemara he says the Habit Raisa. So he can name it the Hacha Ari Shah Achas Kadam Yom Tiv Shehu Ki Yom Tiv Indian Malacha the Tosefes. Uh, so it's not obviously talking about the day itself, but it's talking about right before. Okay. Fine. When it comes to a katan, you don't even need a pasik. Because again, obviously you can sell her. Um, so that's not an issue. So hash to the Zavuni because once you could sell her, boy, El Naira. The very point where she says, the Iker Krab This is obviously an extra Pasuk. You don't need this to tell us the date of a katana because he could sell her. So obviously the Masyadeh is gonna to go to her to go to the father rather. So the Khidish is even on Naira. 
The father also has rights to annul her vows. But as we saw before, that even when she's in Naira, the father has rights to annul her vows. He also will accept her get. As he's able to be engaged, cause her to get engaged and married, so do he will be able to do the uh, receive the divorce. However, the father, according to this, is not allowed to eat the, her fruits uh, in her lifetime. Which is what Misha said. However, it's not true. The father actually does have the rights to be able to eat the, her fruits in the lifetime. So, I understand why her husband he eats the fruits. Why? The im came because otherwise mimnavul parik he won't end up redeeming her. So, therefore, they were masakin peros because of the pirkaina. This is why she says pirkaina tachas peros that the whole notion of why she eats he's allowed to eat her fruits is because in the event that she is in captivity he will then redeem her. So that's when it comes to a husband. So because he gets something out of it. So therefore, he's going to end up redeeming her. This is an unbelievable line. This is his daughter. He doesn't care whether he gets paros. He doesn't get paros. When it comes to a relationship of a parent to a child, it's not about the receiving. A child does not... When you have a child, it's not about receiving anything. Therefore, you don't need the paros because your whole relationship is a giving relationship. Right? When it comes to parents, by parents, it's totally a giving relationship. And therefore, it doesn't make any difference. You don't need the paros in order to be able to uh, redeem her. You redeem her anyway. The reality is that she has peros, so the father can say, why should I redeem her? She has money. So let her do, let, let uh, her redeem herself. And this is question 13. Again, whether or not we were masaking peros mishum pirkona, or we don't have to make that takana because the father is going to redeem her anyway. Nisei's Fine. So let's see if there's any questions yet. Not on that one. Okay. So let's see. Actually, TB is a hard question. Ma tekinu leisha tachas masi odeha. Ma tekinu tachas ksubasa. Ma tekinu tachas perois. So the pirkoina we at least saw is tachas peros. Okay. So that is TB2, at least part of it. So let's just TB2. Okay. All right. So Nisei says, yes, love about Shuho Eichel. So when they get married, the husband is able to eat the fruit. Son of a Kosovo. If he wrote to her, he wrote to her, quote, Peros Ksus Vikalim, the fruits, the garments, and clothing. Shiyavo ima mebeisavia that you bring together from your father's house lebeis bala unquote to your husband's house. So therefore, because this is the stipulation, so therefore it's uh, understood that that's what he's entitled to. Mesa if she dies lo zocha bal bedevarim the husband will no longer be zoycha to these things. It's only when they're married. Mishum reb nasan oimer zocha bal bedevarim no not true. Even after she died, so he is still entitled to these things. Did not. Maybe it's based on this following Machalikas. It says as follows. This Armula on his Garsha. Let's say she was widowed or divorced. Bainman in this suin, and here's the key words. Bainman Arison. Even from the time of all they'd had was Arison, Goivas a coil. So he collects um uh, they collect, she collects everything. In other words, she will be able to collect the entirety, the whole ksuba. She gets everything. When she's fully married, and then let's say her husband gets divorced or he dies, so she gets the whole ksuba. When it comes, if she 
her husband died of Erison, then Masul Gaiba Mosai Baumanamana. All they do is get the minimum and that's it. Uh, there is a ksuba for a uh, for an for uh, Erison, but it's only the Iker ksuba. As we continue to Mem Zayin Ahmed Bays, Shul Kosovo El Almanas Kainsa. Everything else, um, all the additions, was on, only on condition that they completed the marriage. But if all there was was Erison, then we don't say the Lamadi or Mulosacha, the one who says that after the husband died, after, as we said, after if she dies, that the husband doesn't get everything. So, because there's not this connection, Kribbalism and Azariah. Uman di Amr, Zacha is Kribbalan. Look, the Kuli Yama, Kribbalism and Azariah. Maybe both of these opinions, if the wife dies, uh, even though there's a Machokas there, but everyone will hold like Kribbalism and Azariah, that if he dies, or she, or they get divorced, that everyone will hold that when it comes to Arison, you only get the the Iker because she'll cost of well Elamanasa Kainsa. Everyone would hold like that. Why? How could they all hold like that? So he says like this. So obviously Kribbalism Azaria, because at the time of it, of Arison, it was they weren't Zaych everything. The one who says you are Zaychasad can look at Rebbelzim and Azariah El Medi De Ledi Da. Over here, it's from him to her. When it's referring to him who wrote the Ksuba, and then let's say he get they get divorced at, from Erison, Shalok Kosova El Al Menasa Kainza. He only did this in order to be able to marry for the marriage. But the, if the marriage didn't get completed, so then it's not going to she won't be Zaych everything El Medi Da Ledi De. However, from her to him. Let's say again when she dies, so he gets everything. I feel rebelism and azari mighty. Why? Mishum uh Dimishum Ich Tune Hu because it's all totally on the Kedushin, the Shinuch. Va Ichat Neluhu. So it's an interesting Svara. We have to needs a little bit of work, but there is a distinction between the woman marrying and the man marrying. So when the man is engaged, gets engaged as Arison, that's not enough. He's waiting Almanasa Kainsa. His goal is to actually marry her. Until then, maybe she is not going to be Zaycha any everything. She'll only be Zaycha <coughs> the uh, modern Messiah. However, if let's say he would die, if, let's say she would die at Arison, so he would get everything. The reason is because just as long as they're engaged, that already was um like enough if you will for her and therefore she's uh that's what took place and therefore that relationship was strong enough at that point so we say that when it comes to this man so okay great he gets the peros but he is obligated to feed her redeem her and bury her he has to pay for all these expenses so tanabam so this is actually the better place to say it's T B um, two. This is spelled out pretty clearly. So let me just write this here T B two. So the mizon they they were masakin mizonos tachas masiadeha that she works and therefore he feeds her. Ukvurasa in the burial is tachas ksubasa is for the ksuba. Rashi says tachas tanadunya the dowry. Therefore, the husband eats fruit. So, Paris, man What do you mean? Where do we mention fruits? So, this is actually how we say it. So, again, tiknu mizono said tachas masiyadel. That we already said that he get she gets the food because he she gives over um, the the actions of her hands. Upirkayne tachas peros and the redemption uh, that in case she's in captivity. Is tachas peros um, fine and ukvurasa tachas ksubasa and the kvura uh, if she dies the burial expenses is, is because of the nedunya she brings in afikach balcha peros therefore the husband eats fruits so my lafikach what does that mean therefore what is that adding so madutema mechel lo nechlinhu maybe you would think that actually the husband is not that does not get the right to the fruits. Why? Anuchi 
ninchinhu. Rather, we should say that he should leave them. He should leave the fruits. Because otherwise, if he doesn't, he may. Uh, the concern is he may not redeem her. This is actually better that he's eating. Maybe there won't be enough anyway, and therefore he's going to redeem with his own money. So, since he eats the peros, he won't keep a cheshman, and it may not be equal to the redemption. So if he, you held the peros, uh, if he held the peros, it may not be enough, and he'll say it isn't fair, and he's not going to redeem her. So for care, if you say no, eat, 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 and the, he's not going to know how much he ate. And then twenty years into the marriage, he was in captivity for twenty thousand dollars. He's not going to remember or figure out if he ate twenty thousand dollars worth of peros. But if it all had to be calculated, so let's say the redemption was more money than the peros that she brought in. So therefore, for that reason, that's lafichach. Ve'epoch ano, says Rashi. Maybe it should be the other way around. Why don't we say the Mazonos is because of Peros, because they're both food. Uperkaina um, and the redemption, Takas Masyadel. So what's the Nafka mean? The Rashi says, the Omer Enu Nazainis Vein Oisa. If let's say she, because what's the difference? If he still has this obligation. So Rashi says, if let's say she would say, um, don't feed me and I don't have to pay you. So, Lil Klum Komer. So that's not going to mean anything. Because. If her Masyadeh is connected to Perkaina, she can't waive that right. Uh, and she can't say, I'm not going to give Masyadeh. But she can say, don't give me food. So that's happening right now. Don't give me food tonight. So I'm Rabbi, The reason why this is actually correct is because we want to connect things that are common. So Mizonos and Masia Deha, these are things that happen. She gets a daily paycheck and she needs to eat. And Shvuya, being in captivity, um, and also in Vi'isha Sheshla next name Lug, a woman who ha- brings all this extra stuff into the fa- into the house, that's Loshkich, and that's not common. So we bring a common to a common, an uncommon to an uncommon. So it's logical. Okay. Fine. So let's see question 14. Right. So that was again only Rashi who can quote the Nafkimi as if she says in the Zenith Okay. Fine. So that was Rashi only. Good. Vaita. So Omar Rabba. Hai Tana Savar. This town holds Mazinus Midaris. That Mazinus, the chiv of giving her food, is actually a derisa, to sanya, sheira, to sheira ksusa v'inosa. So sheira el Mazinus. The Pasik says you must give her food. V'cheinu oimer v'asher ochu sheir ami. So and sheir in this context is referring to food. It says ochlu, ochlu sheir ami. So you ate food with me. Ksusa kamash mo'i. It's talking about clothes. It's obvious that's what you're referring to. A noisa zu ona. The obligation that the husband has to have relations on a regular basis, which Gemara is going to stipulate later, exactly how how often that should be. Fine. So how Mura Batayra, that's what's in the Taiba. If you afflict my daughters. Sheira actually Zona. Sheira is not Mzonos, but Sheira is the relations. So we find that the word share is also found when it comes to having relations. Ksusa kamashmoi, no one argues with that, but oinasa elu mazainus, vachenu oimer, the yanach of yarivacha. It was afflicted and he hungered you. So we see this notion of ona, um, also we find this on Yom Kippur, of, of inu es nafsho uh has to do with food. As we continue to mem chesam on Lezer, Ben Yaakov Aimer Shera Ksusa Shera is actually Ksusa Lafum Shera. It's referring to clothes that are for the flesh of a woman. Tain Ksusa. You should give her that type of a clothing. What does that mean? Shal Yitin Lo Lo Shal Yaldo Zakena Lo Shal Zakena Li Alada. You shouldn't give clothes to a young woman 
your young wife old clothing. You should give her clothes that are befitting of a young woman. And for that matter, Voshul is a Kenali Alada. An old woman shouldn't be wearing young women's clothing. It should be garments and begadim which are befitting. And that's something which is embarrassing. Susa va It means it should be done given to her at the right season. Tank Susa. Shlo Yitin Khadashim Bimosachama. You shouldn't give new garments in the summer uh, which is thicker. Vulosh Chokim be most and show not worn out garments in the rainy months. Let's see if there's any more questions over here. So again, TB2. Matin Yusha Tachas Masiodeha. So Masiodeha is Mazonos. Tachas Ksubasa is the Kvora. Tachas Peros. Um, Tachas Peros is the Pirkaina. Okay. Um, fine. Let's see if there was this one more question here. T possibly T A one Masvar the Madam the Nedunya Yarshima feel im loy nasa but to seven schools for Rachel Acher Nesuin. So um, I have the answers here. I hear the answers. To seven schools show me the dolly the da. So we said before this is actually did have. Okay, good. So. T A one. So when it comes to the ma the Toysefis Ksuba extra stuff which is give he's giving to her, will cost al almanas So that he's only gonna be giving uh almanas once they get married, but not before. That's why um Ad Khan Loy Kaima Rebelezer Benazaria Elamidi Daily Dida shall cost of El Almanas Lakinsa. So that's what it's referring to. Ma, that's when it comes to the Tosef Ksub. In the dunya, her dowry, which she gives, that is something which she gives right away from the Shas of Shiduchim, from the time of Kedushin. Never even if she subsequently dies, he'll still be Zaycha to Adkah.